Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Audrey's reading area. I don't own the right to this Egyptian music that I'm playing in the background. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5 p.m. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Thank you for joining me here at Audrey's reading area. So, I've decided Wednesdays will be my Multicultural Awareness Wednesdays. Multicultural Awareness Wednesdays. And so, I am going to speak about the Egyptians today. I have a book on Egyptians. Hope you guys enjoy. I know you will. So, Egyptians. Who were the ancient Egyptians? Why did they build pyramids? And how were mummies made? In this book, you'll find the answers and lots more about life in ancient Egypt. Egyptians is part of an exciting series of books for children who are beginning to read on their own. The easy to read text has been specially written with the help of a reading expert. Now this book was written by Stephanie Turnbull. It was designed by Laura Parker and illustrated by Colin King. The cover illustration was by Ian Jackson. Jackson. Additional illustrations by Tim Haggerty. Egypt consultant, Miriam Bibby. Reading consultant, Allison Kelly. The person reading it to you on Audrey's reading area, of course, is Audrey. So, in this book, we're going to talk about, I'm going to tell you about people of the past. I'm going to tell you about the river life. I'm going to tell you about farmers, at home, kings of Egypt, gods and goddesses, temples, making a mummy, giant pyramids, underground tombs, hidden treasures, fun and games, dressing up. I'm going to tell you about Egyptian writing and all of the good stuff about Egypt. So, people of the past. Egypt is a hot country in North Africa. The people who lived there thousands of years ago are called ancient Egypt Egyptians. This is a pic this picture is part of an ancient Egyptian wall painting. It shows a group of servants. Egyptian paintings often show things from the side. River life. The, the ancient Egyptians built their towns and cities along a river called the Nile. You guys probably have heard of the Nile River. This photograph of Egypt was taken from space. The river and its bank banks look dark green. River Nile. The yellow parts are dry, dusty desert. The Egyptians fished in the river and sailed boats on it. They drank water from it and used it for washing clothes. This is an ancient Egyptian model of a boat. People swarmed to the Nile, but they had to watch, I mean, they swam, sorry, they swam in the Nile, but they had to watch out for crocodiles. Farmers. Egyptian farmers grew fruit, vegetables, and other plants on the banks of the Nile. The, this Egyptian painting shows farmers picking the grapes they have grown. Farmers train monkeys to pick fruit from high trees and throw it down. So they have the monkeys to go up on top of the trees and grab the fruits and throw it down to them. The Nile flooded every year. This made the soil good for growing plants. When the land dried up, plants grew in the sun. Farmers worked hard in the fields. Farmers kept some of the crops to eat and took the rest to markets. At home, ancient Egyptian houses were made of dried mud and painted white. 
Houses had small windows to keep out the hot keep out the hot sun. People cooked food and baked bread outside. Some people had a pool in their garden where they kept fish to eat. Egyptians slept on hard wooden beds with wooden headrests instead of pillows. Rich people often had servants. This model here shows servants hard at work baking bread. Kings of Egypt. Egyptian kings were called pharaohs. The pharaoh was the richest and most important person in the whole country. A pharaoh made laws and gave orders. He led his soldiers to fight enemies. He went out hunting on his, in his chariot. He also met visitors from other countries. All pharaohs wore crowns. Some were decorated with gold and jewels. This is a painting of Ramses III. He is wearing a gold crown and a long striped headdress. Pharaoh Ramses, too, had a pet lion to scare away enemies. Gods and Goddesses Ancient Egyptians believed in many different gods and goddesses. Egyptian gods sometimes looked like animals. This goddess, called Hathor, was often shown as a cow. In this wall painting, Hathor has the horns of a cow on her crown. Sekhmet was a fierce war goddess. Ra was the powerful sun god. Bess looked after children and families. Ma Ma'at was the goddess of truth. Horus looked after the pharaohs. Seth was the evil uncle of Horus. Horus and Seth were enemies. They once turned into fierce hippos to fight. Temples. The Egyptians built huge stone temples to worship pharaohs and gods. This is the temple of Pharaoh Ramses II. Each statue outside the temple is more than 10 times taller than a person. In a temple, priests prayed to a statue of a god or pharaoh. This is a statue of Anubis, a god who can change into an animal called a jackal. On special days, they carried the statue through the town. People often had small statues of gods at home too. Making a mummy, making a mummy. When an important person died, Egyptians wrapped their bodies so it didn't rot. This is called making a mummy. First, they took out the person's insides and put them in pots. Second, they packed the body in salt to dry it out. Next, they wrapped the body tightly in bandages. And fourth and finally, they put a mask on the mummy and laid it in a coffin. Egyptians made animal mummies too. Did you know that? They made animal mummies too. The persons inside were kept in pots with lids like these. Each pot has a god's head. Coffins were shaped to look like a person and covered with spells and pictures. Giant pyramids. When a pharaoh died, his coffin was put inside an enormous stone pyramid. These large pyramids, sort of like this pyramid here, but large, these large pyramids were built for three different pharaohs. The smaller pyramids were for their families. Here are the pyramids. Workers cut stone blocks and dragged them along. 
they pulled the pl blocks up a ramp onto the pyramid. After many years of work, they put the last stone on top. Finally, workers made the pyramid smooth and shiny. Underground tombs. After many years, Egyptians stopped building pyramids. They buried important people in underground tombs instead. What the first thing they did was dug a deep tunnel into a rocky cliff. Then they built rooms and corridors underground. They painted the walls and filled the rooms with treasure. They put the coffin inside a huge box in a special room. This is the tomb of a man named Fesidu. His coffin lay in the room through, through this ark. Robbers often dug into tombs and pyramids to steal treasure. Hidden treasure! The tomb of the pharaoh Tutankhamun was hidden for thousands of years. In 1922, explorers found a secret door hidden behind rocks. Inside were rooms crammed with glitters, glittering treasures. It took 10 years to clear the tomb and list all the amazing treasures. Imagine it took 10 years to clear the tomb of all of its treasures and list all of them. This falcon was one of the many beautiful statues in the tomb. This big heavy mask covered the face of Tutankhamun's mummy. It is made of gold and thin stripes of glass. Wow. Fun and games. Egyptians loved sports and games, as well as music, dancing, and parties. Some people learned to play instruments, like this harp. Men liked to have boating contests on the River Nile. The team that pushed the other boat over won the game. This painting shows a man hunting with his family. He is standing on a boat and throwing a stick at birds. At parties, people enjoyed watching dancers perform all kinds of difficult moves. You see the moves that the dancers do now, right? Dressing up. Egyptians liked to look good. They wore simple flowing cloths and lots of jewels. This wide gold necklace is shaped like a bird. It was made for a pharaoh. People often put perfume fat on their heads. As it melted, it made them smell nice. Perfume fat on their head. Men and women wore loose, light skirts and dresses that kept them cool. They decorated the clothes with rings, bracelets, necklace, necklaces, and other jewels. Everyone wore makeup too. They put lots of dark paint around their eyes. Most people shaved their heads to keep cool. Adults usually wore wigs. Egyptian writing. Egyptian writing was made up of lots of pictures called hieroglyphics or hierogly hieroglyphs. People called scribes. They could read and write hier hieroglyphs. The statue below shows a scribe. A scribe's job was to write letters and keep records. He also had to teach children to read and write. These hieroglyphs were painted on a tomb. They are spells to protect a dead person. Most ordinary people didn't have a clue what hieroglyphs meant. There's a glossary of Egyptian words. That is the end of the story. But I'm going to read you a little bit of a little bit of um, 
words that they have here from the glossary. It says, here are some words in this book that you might not have known. This page tells you what they mean. So of Pharaoh, the title ancient Egyptians gave their kings. A temple. A temple is a place where Egyptians went to worship gods and dead pharaohs. A priest, a person who worked in a temple. Priests prayed to statues. A mummy, not your mommy, a mummy. It's a body, somebody's body after they died that has been dried out to make it last for many years. A tomb, a tomb is a place under the ground where a person was buried. A scribe, a person whose job was to read and write, a scribe. Hieroglyph, a picture or a symbol. Egyptians wrote using hieroglyphs. Like how we use letters and numbers, they used hieroglyphs. Thank you guys so much for joining me here at Audrey's Reading Area. I had so much fun reading this book to you guys. I hope you guys had just as much fun listening. So please subscribe and please tell everybody about Audrey's Reading Area. Share this video and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you soon. Tomorrow, live at 5. Live at 5. Don't forget, tomorrow, live at 5.